so hello everyone welcome to my channel and in this video i will be explaining the problem car fleet 2 so this is a pretty difficult problem and it's like one of those inception kind of mind bending problems like a lot of collisions are happening and all that in fact i also struggled with this problem but anyway uh, in this video i will be first discussing the idea how to solve this problem and then i will be coding it so let's get straight into the problem so what the problem is says that i have been given a car their position and their speeds and i have to tell that when a current car is going to collide at what time like is having going to have its first collision okay so i will be explaining the idea of this problem through this example so let's see this example so this is the example basically uh, position of cars is given three five six nine and their speed are giving four four three one okay so what is the intuition to solve this problem is that i have to look at the rightmost car and then i will go back because i have to find that which the, when the right car is going to collide with the a car that is ahead of it so okay so i just go at this car okay i find out okay uh, is there any car that is slower than me with with which i can collide i will get an answer no there is no car ahead of you so i will write mine right minus one because this car is never going to collide with any other car that is ahead of it okay so now what i am going to do i am going to be a go at this car and i am going to say hey is there any other car that is ahead of you and slower than you and i will get an answer yes there is a car with which i can collide so i will get an answer okay yes so i will calculate what time is it is going to collide so the answer will be like right, two seconds nine minus uh, six that is what uh, nine minus six sorry 1.5 seconds my bad 1.5 seconds 9 minus 6 is 3 3 by 2 1.5 seconds okay now i will come at this car okay now i will see that okay is there any other car slower than me so i will get an answer yes there is a car that is slower than you and this is this car okay so i see that okay this car is slower than me and how uh, how, how much time will i take to collide with it is what will be the time time will be 6 minus 5 1 1 by 1 that is one seconds okay uh, after i have calculated this time one second i will just check that how much time is is this car going to collide with some other car so i will obviously if there is some time mentioned here it means that yes it is going to collide with some other car and now i see that time is 1.5 seconds okay and my time of collision with this car is one second so it means that before this car collides with some other car and it becomes a part of that other car i will collide with it okay so it's safe to write one here okay you will understand this more when i tell this example so now i commit this car okay i see that is there any other car that is in front of you slower than you i will get that answer that yes uh, there is a car like this and but it is not slower than me so i will just ignore this now i will go to this and this car is slower than me so what i do is that i calculate the time of collision so the time of collision is going to be like what three uh, three by one that is three seconds okay three seconds but now after writing three i realize that okay this car is going to be uh, going to collide with some another car in 1.5 seconds it means that by the time i reach this car this this car would already have become a part of some another car ahead of it okay so i see say that okay i won't stop here i will go ahead so now i go ahead i see this car and see that oh its speed is less than my speed so it means that uh, i will collide with it and the collision time will be two seconds that is nine minus three six six by three that is two seconds so it means uh, and then what i do is that i check the collision time with this car that okay is there any other car with which it is colliding suppose it was colliding with another car in say one seconds that means that i have to go ahead because it will already have become a part of some other car so you know it's a little bit confusing but i suggest you can draw this and you will it will be super clear to you so now right now i see that minus one that means it is not going to collide with any other car so it means that now it is safe to update this answer with uh, what uh, two seconds so i will write two here and that is the answer so now i have since i have uh, grabbed the idea how to solve this problem now how to solve this problem so 
uh, this problem it can easily be solved by using n square that I will uh, in n square time by like just doing a loop and all that because I will just check every car and see that which car has the lowest collision time with my current car but since like you know there is a pattern in stack problems that like suppose you you're observing here that i may need to go ahead or i may be satisfied at some point only okay in this case i was satisfied at this point but if the time was something else i should have uh, needed to go further so you know if there is uh, this kind of dependency like there are two loops and one loop is dependent on like another like the current i is j is dependent on i so these time uh, in these kind of problems we have to think about stack data structure so let's code it once i code it it will, it will become more clear to you so let's increase the font and code it to 16 pixels okay so what i'm going to do first is that i will just write n10 is equal to cars dot size because why not and then I will make a vector, vector double, double res, n comma minus one. So this basically is going to store my uh, like, uh, collision timings, the result that I have to return. Now what I will do is that I will make a stack, stack int s. So this stack will store the uh, uh, what indexes of these cars. So just let me clean this thing up so that I can explain while coding. Uh, I have to go a little more back okay this is the maximum extent okay so now what I will do is that I will start from my end from int n i is equal to n minus 1 i greater than equal to 0 i minus minus okay so the first thing that I do is that I will check my stack while stack is not empty s dot empty empty and the if the stack is empty then you would you won't go into this while loop and if the stack is not empty what i will do is that i will check if cars i1 is less than or equal to cars uh, s dot top uh, uh, one so i will just explain in a minute that what this means so i will do s dot pop here so this means that to check if the car ahead is slower okay so basically I have to check you know that uh, if there is some going to be some collision or not if there is not going to be any collision for example in this case if there is not going to be any collision with the car just ahead of me I will just like pop this out of the uh, pop this out of existence and I will go further to see so that's what I am doing here and after doing here uh, this step what I will do is that just a second uh, so why uh, now I know that uh, if the stack is not empty if the stack has some items uh, then uh, what uh, it means that there is going to be a collision s dot empty okay so now uh, for example in this case just take this case back because I like this case so in this case I came here and I popped this out of existence now i go further okay i am going to see this case okay so now what i did while explaining was that i calculated yes they are going to collide so i just calculated their time so that is what i am going to do so i will calculate the time double collision time collision time is going to be double so this is just type casting here so cars car sorry uh yes cars s dot top that is the position of the car that is on the top of stack minus minus cars i zero zero oh, and i also had to write zero here uh, because s dot top is the uh, index okay divided by divided by the relative speed so that is going to be cars i one minus cars s dot top sorry s dot top one so this is uh, by this i am going to get their collision time okay now what i will do is that 
I will check. Okay, so while while explaining what I did was that I I will check. Okay, I come at this speed, uh, this car, and I check. Okay, the collision time between this and this car is what three seconds, as I told earlier. Now I will check that. Okay, is this car, is this car colliding with some other car before I collide with this car? And if I get the answer as yes. Yes, that means that I have to go further. And if I get that answer as no, it means that my hunt is over. And okay, let's get out of the while loop. So that's what I'm going to write here. So if collision collision time is less than or equal to res uh, what s dot top. Okay. So so this means that what does this mean? So this is uh, this basically means this res dot top is 1.5. Okay, and either this can be the case, or for example, if this car was not going to collide, so with any another car, it was it would have been minus one. Okay, so if this is the condition, or if res s dot top is equal to is equal to minus one. So if these are the two cases, then what I will do is that I will just update my res i with collision. Collision time, and I will break out of the loop. That my hunt is over. Okay, but what happens in this case is that, in this case, my hunt is not over. I have to continue. So what I will do is that I will just tap, uh, pop the pop out this element out of existence, and I will just continue. So s dot pop. So now what I will do is uh, I will be at this car, okay. And now I will be checking if this car there is a collision happening, and I will get yes, a collision is happening, and the collision time is what minus one. So it means that I will calculate new collision time that will be two. And it, since this time is minus one, it means that yes, I have found the car with which I am colliding. So that's the case. And in the end, what I have to do is that s dot push. What I, so what this means is that okay. For example, if I was at this position, in the end, what I would have done, I would have put this the index of this car into my stack now in the beginning, so that I can uh, use the stack actually. So that's what I have done, and that's the problem for you. Uh, res return. I will return. Return. Okay, my computer is hanging. Return res. So now hope I hope the code is correct syntactically okay it is accepted and now i will run submit this code mm. please guys subscribe to this channel <laughs> so okay it is accepted not the fastest solution though but it gets the job done in big o of n time so you know you can have a look at this code and please 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 subscribe to this channel a lot of you guys don't subscribe uh, so it really motivates me to make these videos more enthusiastically So just have a look at this code. There is nothing much. Okay. I just made a vector and stack and all that I I ran my first while loop to check if the ahead car is slower and check uh, and like pop out all the cars that are faster than me and this while loop means that update it is all about updating the result and the collision time so this is the main logic here so if you have understood the problem please consider subscribing this channel so thank you and have a nice day